related to, but distinct from, theories of behavior change is the concept of social support. Social support in public health refers to the degree to which people perceive that they are receiving assistance to overcome health challenges. Social support is thought to be key to promoting physical activity, either integrated into the existing health behavior theories and models reviewed earlier or as a standalone strategy. Behavioral and social approaches for physical activity promotion increase physical activity either by enabling people with behavior change and management skills according to one of the health. Behavior theories or five theoretical models or by structuring the social environment so that it is conducive to physical activity behavior. Behavioral and social approaches for physical activity promotion increase physical activity either by enabling people with behavior change and management skills. We also need to know the barriers for individuals to be physically active. Then, what are five common barriers to being physically active? Or what gets in the way of exercising regularly? Answers may vary but include the general categories of lack of time, social influences, lack of energy, lack of willpower, fear of injury, lack of skill, or lack of resources. Social support has been a foundation of attempts to understand health behavior change and maintenance for years. It stems from observations that people with shared experiences and goals benefit from the support they receive from others. You may consider this question do your friends and slash or family members exercise? If yes, how does this influence your exercise patterns? And, what are three basic types of social support? The three basic types of social support are perceived, received, and connected Barrera 1986. Perceived support refers to the perceptions that one is adequately supported. For physical activity, an example is a woman who knows she can count on friends to walk with her when she needs company. Received support is more direct and measurable. It refers to the amount of direct support a person can count on for physical activity. An example of this is a basketball team that must have five members to play. Each member counts on the others to be at the playground so the team can play. Finally, connected support refers to the degree to which a person is socially integrated. Social integration provides implicit social support as a result of the connections made through participation. Examples are clubs, communities, and community events such as fun runs, the workplace, and family and friends. Connected support is thought to be helpful in physical activity promotion because of the experiences that can be shared through a social network. What are three ways individually adapted health behavior approaches can increase physical activity? Answers may vary but include the general categories of substitution, social support, self-reward, commitment, and reminders. In the next slide, we will explain the intended consequence and example of each approach. This table illustrates the behavioral strategies useful in individually adapted behavior change programs to increase physical activity. In detail, an example of substitution can be pushed back from a desk during work and take several two-minute walks during the day. The intended consequence is to stay physically active when you may not be even thinking about being active. Social support is intended to find a partner or partners to help you stay active, such as joining a walking club or exercise with family members. Self-reward is intended to provide positive feedback to yourself for being physically active, such as setting pedometer goals and rewarding yourself with a gift when short and long-term goals are reached.
commitment is intended to encourage tangible commitments for yourself to being physically active, such as signing a self-contract. Becoming a physical activity support to someone who is trying to become more active. Reminders are intended to use prompting tools to remind yourself and others about activity. An example is to place exercise shoes and equipment where they are visible. Why are social support interventions in community settings recommended by the Community Guide as physical activity programs? Community social support interventions focus on changing physical activity behavior by building, strengthening, and maintaining social networks in the community that provide supportive relationships for behavior change for example, a buddy system. Contracts with others to complete specified levels of physical activity, and walking groups or other groups to provide friendship and support. What are two community-based social support strategies for increasing physical activity? Answers may vary but include the following. Social support interventions in community settings increase physical activity as measured in a variety of ways for example, blocks walked or flights of stairs climbed daily. Frequency of attending exercise sessions, minutes spent in physical activity. What is point of decision prompting, and how does it work? A point of decision prompt can help individuals and populations to make an active choice. These strategies have most often been used at elevators and escalators in buildings where choosing to walk the stairs is a reasonable and convenient physical activity alternative and have been shown to be effective at least in the short term. What was project active? Was it successful or unsuccessful? Project Active was developed as a unique physical activity program that targeted women in midlife 35 to 65 years of age using churches as the target community and focusing on developing a social support system. Physical activity was promoted through the church-based support network. The goal of the project was to increase moderate intensity physical activity among program participants compared to those in churches not receiving the program. Although the study was fairly small, the participants in the social support group demonstrated a 63% increase in the minutes per week spent in physical activity that was at least of moderate intensity. Those in the information-only control group churches increased their minutes per week of moderate intensity physical activity also 43%, but not nearly as much at the social support group. The authors of this study concluded that this type of social support, based physical activity promotion showed some promise as a strategy to promote physical activity.